Hi everyone, my name is Mandeep. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about gradient descent uh, as a regular practice that we follow. In first video, we talk about any concept in on whiteboard and after discussing those concepts, then we do the implementation in the next video. So we will follow the same for gradient descent as well. Uh, we will do the mathematical concepts on today's whiteboard and uh, actual uh, implementation using python code we will do in our next video so uh, before moving on to the gradient descent let me tell you gradient descent is a really important concept in machine learning and it is very interesting as well so how gradient descent works um, so gradient descent basically uh, i will first tell you the um, the particular you know uh, the official definition uh, part and then we will move on to the some example and we'll then further following that we will do the um, mathematical concepts behind it so let's get started so gradient descent is basically an uh, iterative optimization algorithm first of all so what does this mean? That means that this uh, algorithm uh, works in iteration to achieve the optimization. And um, uh, what we do in this, we find the, to find the local minimum value of a function. So this is what we do. And um, if we have to find the local maximum then that algorithm is known named as gradient ascent um, but today we are discussing gradient descent and uh, gradient descent is used in machine learning algorithm in a lot of places so before uh, moving further let us take a general world or real world example let's say these are lots of mountains and uh, someone is here and here is a let's say a lake now the problem here is that this person has to reach to this lake but the catch here is that uh, this person is blindfolded so he cannot see so how he will reach here so um, this problem will kind of you know um, reflect how gradient descent works so what this person will do to reach here since he is blindfolded so he will start from um, this point into let's say in some any of the direction and he will continue in a particular direction till the point either he reaches to the lake or the person finds that in that particular direction he again started ascending to the mountains since this lake is at the bottom of these mountains so he need to come to the uh, lowest or minimum point so let's say he starts from here and he uh, after taking few steps he go into this direction then he will realize that uh, he again started ascending so that might not be the right direction so he will change his path so let's say he continue here and after reaching here let's say he reached this mountain and he uh, now let's say again he start um, in this direction and then he will again realize that uh, uh, i have started ascending so i need to change my direction he will stop there and will keep uh, changing his direction and will keep moving in descending till the point he reaches uh, the lake one more thing he will do is that um, as soon as he will uh, you know kind of feel or realize that he is almost there uh, or he is almost uh, going to reach to the lake then what he will do he will uh, shorten his step size so maybe at initial stage he will uh, come very quickly and with a very big step size let's say and w since he once he will be uh, reaching towards so he will take a very baby steps to uh, reach to the lake so that uh, if he will uh, why he will do do, do this 
because uh, he do not want to uh, you know kind of miss the lake if he will take big steps it is quite possible that let's say he is following this route and he have reached here and if he is taking this much of step size at each step so it is quite possible that he may miss the lake so soon soon he will uh, kind of you know following uh, uh, start feeling that he is almost there he will shorten his step size so that he do not miss the lake so that's the uh, that's the approach he will follow and the same concept is applied in gradient descent as well so how gradient descent works so basically in this we try to find the minimum value so assume that um, a very generic example let's say we have a function f of x which is represented let's say with some some random function i am taking just a just an example so assume that this is a function which is 2x square plus 3x if someone asks me that uh, at what point of x at what point of x this function f of x will be minimum so to achieve this thing uh, what we do in uh, mathematics we uh, use the derivatives so how derivative works so basically uh, we do derivative and uh, after doing derivative we put that derivative is equal to 0 and find the value of x then we can say that at that x value that function is uh, minimum so what we do in derivatives um, so in derivatives what we do we take the polynomial uh, terms let's say power value in front of that uh, particular variable and then decrease this uh, uh, power by one so in this case what we'll do so this two will come here in front of this two two into two and since we are doing the derivative of f of x with respect to x so what it will do 2 into 2 and this x square will become x2 minus 2 minus 1 it will decrease by 1 so this will be x and the similar way this 3x will become 3 so this will be like 4x plus 3 so my df of x by dx is equal to 4x plus 3 so this is my first derivative and what we do uh, we will put this derivative first derivative equal to 0 what will happen then then we will find the value of x x is equal to minus 3 by 4 so what we can say that at this value of x is equal to minus 3 by 4 this function will be minimum Fine. Uh, the guys who are uh, not very much uh, comfortable or aware about derivatives um, they guy, those can um, definitely check any of the you know math related website uh, how derivative works we generally studied these in our uh, 11th or 12th standard uh, since uh, i do not want to derail uh, from the topic I just want to cover gradient descent part so I do not want to give, go into the depth of derivatives so those who want to learn about derivative I would suggest them please uh, uh, first learn derivative then you would be able to relate very well here so this is the general example for gradient descent and how this thing fits into the machine learning so in machine learning uh, if you guys remember or if you guys have watched my linear regression uh, video in linear regression we used to follow this line y is equal to mx plus b or we can say y hat is equal to mx plus b where we used to represent y hat is our uh, you know uh, predicted value m is the slope x is the feature variable and b is the intercept again uh, to check more on linear regression and cost function i would again suggest please watch my video on linear regression and cost function this is in the same playlist you guys can first check that and then come here so in linear regression we used to follow this line and we used to calculate our cost function our cost function is calculated as a difference between my um, you know my 
uh, actual value which is y and my predicted value then we used to do a square of it and then we used to uh, do a summation and try to find the summation let's say we have n number of data points and divide by n so we used to find uh, mean square error so this is how mean square error is represented so this is like uh, uh, this is our cost function so now we have to apply gradient descent on our cost function so the idea is that we need to minimize the cost function now the question arises why we want to minimize the cost function when our cost function when whole when this as a whole will be minimum then it means simply that my y this difference is minimum when this difference is minimum that means my y is equal to or almost equal to y hat which means my y is actual value my actual value is almost equal to my predicted value and that means if that is the case that means my model is doing really good prediction and that's that's the only thing that we want to achieve from our model that we want to uh, achieve a model which gives me almost very accurate predictions so that's the whole whole you know whole motto of this thing so we need to minimize this uh, msc mean square error which is our cost function so how we will do this again and just like i showed you an example uh, we will do the derivative of it how we will do the derivative of it uh, what we will put the this value into this equation and then we will find the derivative of that particular equation with respect to m and with respect to b that's the only thing that we find in our linear regression this value is given this value is um, this value y is given our x is given and we always find m and b such that um, when we find those value we try to put those value into our um, this equation and then we calculate the y hat value and then we try to find the msc so uh, now let let us do the same thing now if i put the y hat here so my this equation this equation will become something like um, it will become something like 1 by n number of data points let's say uh, how many records i have i is 1 to n summation of then y i let's say this i this i is representing this one y i minus y hat is my mx plus b so i will represent that mx i plus b and this is whole square so this is my uh, this is my msc now we need to minimize this how we will do this minimization again the if we think on the same terms at what value of m and at what value of b this whole function will be minimum we need to find that just like we did in our previous example so what we will do we will do a first order derivative so how we will do if we will do the first order derivative of this with respect to m so we will be let's say d of d d by of uh, d by dm that means i am doing the uh, this function derivative with respect to m then this whole thing this two will come here this two will come here so this whole thing will become two by n this will be my summation of 1 to n and what it will be like minus x of y into y i minus uh, this will become m f x plus b so this is this as a whole will become uh, d of d by m so and if we uh, let's say if you put this value equal to zero if you put uh, this value equal to zero then we can find the if and we find the value of m then we can say that that at that particular value of m with respect to this function will be minimum the similarly we can find d of d by um, 
derivative of this function with respect to b then what will be it will become it will become 2 will come here 2 by n summation of i is 1 to n minus of uh, this will become my y i and this will m max i plus b let me write it cleanly y i m of x i plus b this is the derivative of this function with respect to b and uh, again we need to find the uh, again the ask is that we need to find at what value of b this function would be minimum what we will do we will put this thing equal to zero and whatever the data points x and y value we have we will put it in a, put it in this equation and in this equation and we will find m from here and b from here and this thing we will keep doing again and again since gradient descent is um, iterative so we will keep doing so we will find m and b when we will find m and b then we will find our y hat once we get our m and b then we get our y hat then we will put here and then we will note down our mean square error that uh, what is the mean square error is coming with this value of so so how it will happen so let's say from this equation we found m and b and we are doing it in iteration so let's say and this is my iteration for my first iteration m b and my msc so what we will do uh, for iteration one by doing all that mathematical stuff we i just told you i found some value of uh, some value of m let's say something is there and something is there let's say i represent it something with something else this is for just representation purpose and i found some msc value and assume that for first iteration i found 3.2 and then i will do i find some value of m some value of b and then let's say i again calculated um, msc so let's say it came as 3 so i will keep doing it till the time either after some iteration what will happen um uh, what will happen my msc will start will stop decreasing that means i have reached that particular value so 3.0 let's say then 2.9 then 2.8 2.7 and let's say after ten, this is my 10th iteration after 10th iteration onwards i i'm i start getting msc my msc stopped decreasing and i found that since last four since last few iteration my msc is uh, remaining same it is not decreasing anymore so i will pick those m and p values and uh, using those those m and p values i uh, find the best fit line into my linear regression model and will keep that thing as my you know benchmark so this is how uh, my uh, gradient descent works and this is very similar to that um, that person start uh, you know coming from the top of the hill to the bottom and it will take at each step it will it will keep going into th that direction where that you know he is descending so we will keep going on till our msc is decreasing here so and one more thing uh, is there in this i just want to quickly introduce in this here in this video as well that thing is uh, termed as learning rate to relate this learning rate uh, with our uh, real life example uh, this learning rate is equal to the step size like uh, what step size that person is taking when he is coming from uh, top of the hill till, till the bottom of the hill so uh, the learning rate you can uh, you can understand like this way so we should uh, there is always a recommendation that we should always take learning rate as a minimum value 
very small value not minimum value as a small value because uh, if we take learning rate as a big value it is quite possible that we miss the uh, actual minimum value of that function let me tell you with the help of graph if using gradient descent if i try to plot the graph let's say this is my cost function which is my msc or cost function you can say and here are my weights my weights you can understand in terms of m and b so if i try to plot on this so that graph will come something like this it comes something like that let me redraw it it comes something like u so and what is learning rate learning let's say we start from here and we need to come here so learning rate is the step size like how big step i am taking at um, each iteration so if i will take let's say big steps what will happen then uh, what will happen if i had, it is quite possible that i come here and i miss this point and i reach here and if i will keep continuing then i will observe that my msc is again start increasing so that means i will uh, i will think that this is my minimum point but this is actually not this is the actual minimum point so this is always recommended that when we are training our learning rate should be minimum so the what we do we and if you, again even one more thing we cannot keep learning rate very very small because what will happen then uh, we will take very very baby steps and we will uh, take a lot of time to reach here this is very general like general thing if you start from here and if you take very big steps then what will happen because you are taking this much of step size so you are bound to miss this point if you take big step and if you take let's say this much of very very small small steps so it will take a lot of time to come here so our training will take a lot of time so what is the general practice to uh, avoid both of these situation we start with little bit big steps but soon as we keep going downwards soon as our you know msc keep dropping we will at each iteration we will uh, drop our uh, learning uh, our uh, step size which is our learning rate so soon as we keep coming downwards so we will shorten our size and then then we will be able to reach our uh, local or global minima so this is actually how gradient descent works um in everything i have told you about gradient descent in next video we will co cover uh, we will do the practical implementation of it so that's all for this video uh, guys um, thanks for watching and please do like subscribe my channel i am working on machine learning playlist and if you want something specific topic to be covered please let me know in my comments and till then bye bye take care thank you